Today's lecture review is over Chapter 9, Nail Structure and Growth. You cannot perform professional nail services without understanding the structure and the growth of the natural nail. Specializing in nail services will add extra revenue to your pocket and will give you another way to express your creative talent. By becoming familiar with the anatomy and physiology of the nail, you will be able to better recognize abnormalities and disorders that can and cannot be serviced in a salon. The natural nail is called onyx. That is the technical term for the natural nail. The onyx is the hard protective plate composed mainly of keratin, the fiber-shaped protein found in our skin and our hair. A natural nail should be normal, healthy, firm, but flexible. The surface is shiny, smooth, and unspotted, whitish and translucent in appearance, with the pinkish color of the nail bed below showing through. Water content is between 15 and 25 percent. The different parts of the nail anatomy are the nail plate or the nail body, the free edge, the nail bed, the matrix, the lunula, the cuticle, the eponychium, the perinychium, the hyponychium, specialized ligaments, the nail folds, and the side walls. Please refer to your keys at the back of the chapter. The nail plate is the most visible and functional part of the nail unit. It rests on and slides across the nail bed. It is formed by matrix cells. It is constructed in layers and the free edge extends over the tips of the finger or the toe. Your nail bed is the skin supporting the nail plate as it grows towards the free edge. It extends from the lunula to just before the free edge. It's attached to the nail plate by a thin layer of tissue called the bed epithelium. It is supplied with many blood vessels. The matrix is where the nail plate cells are formed. They're composed of matrix cells that produce the nail plate. They contain nerves, lymph, and blood vessels to nourish the nails. They extend from under the nail fold at the base of the nail plate. The lunula is the visible part of the matrix. It is whitish half moon shape at the base of the nail. Color caused by reflection of light off the matrix surface. Some are hidden under the eponychium. The cuticle is dead colorless tissue that's attached to the nail plate from the underside of the skin that lies above the natural nail plate. It sticks light to the nail and it's difficult to remove from the nail plate. It seals the space between the natural nail plate and the living skin above to prevent entry of foreign materials and microorganisms. The eponychium is living skin at the base of the nail plate covering the matrix. It's often mistaken for cuticle. It cannot be trimmed or cut by a nail technician. The perinychium, <clears throat> excuse me, is the living skin bordering the root and sides of the fingernail and the toenail. The hyponychium is a slightly thickened skin that lies between the fingertip and the free edge. There is a protective barrier that seals the free edge, preventing microorganisms from invading and infecting the nail bed. The specialized ligaments are tough bands of fibrous tissue that connect bone or hold an organ in place. They attach the nail bed and the matrix bed to underlying bone. They are located at the base of the matrix and around edges of the nail bed. The nail folds are folds of normal skin surrounding the nail plate. They form nail grooves or furrows on each side of the nail. And the side wall is also known as the lateral nail fold, the fold of skin overlapping the sides of the nail. When we talk about growth of the nail, the growth is affected by our nutrition, our general health, and exercise. 
It grows forward, starting at the matrix and extending over the fingertip. Nails grow in a variety of shapes. The average growth is 1 8 to 1 inch tenth of an inch per month. Growth is faster in the summer than in the winter, and children's nails grow faster than adult nails. Look at the different types of nail shapes and the patterns that the nail grows as listed in your cosmetology textbook. There are different types of nail malformations. This can be a temporary or permanent condition caused by disease, injury, or infection that has affected the matrix. The shape or thickness of the nail plate can appear altered or even deformed. Nail malformation can cause a person to shed a nail. Replacement of a natural fingernail takes four to six months. Replacement of a toenail takes nine to 12 months. As a person ages, part of the nail matrix begin to permanent, permanently slow down production, causing the plate to develop a series of narrow grooves running down the length of the plate. Know your nails. Many cosmetologists are interested in nails because of the creative opportunities they present. As with every other area of cosmetology, this creativity must be grounded in a full awareness of the structure and the physiology of the nails and the surrounding tissue. So to summarize what we've talked about, well manicured nails, whether natural or artificially applied, have always been recognized as an indication of good grooming. Nails originate in the epidermal layer of the skin and like hair, their condition is dependent upon the individual's overall health. A balanced diet filled with the daily required vitamins and nutrients will help produce healthy, disorder-free nails. Remember that your creativity is providing quality nail services must be grounded in a thorough knowledge and awareness of the structure and the physiology of the nails.